Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more Going Medieval. So, last episode, or our first episode, um, we got a little bit of a house built up. We've got all of our things inside. We've got Becca, Night Raven, and Shifo in as our first peoples. We're living on an island. We've took away all the ramps that get up there any other way, apart from this staircase that we've built across this side, which has actually got some fish right at the base of it. That's always nice. Um, and we're wanting to make some defences this episode. Hopefully he gets this one first. I hope Shifo digs things out correctly. I don't want him to fall and drown. Mind resources mangled. We're fine with that. Um, but yeah, we've got some food being cooked. We are running low on food reserve stuff, so we kind of need to get some fields going. Mm -mm -mm. How do you do that again? That's cut plants. Oh no. It's somewhere in here. Let's let's slow time down rather than just zoom in through. Oh yeah, we're gonna want the shrines for people as well, aren't we? Let's just put them one there and one there. We've not quite got the wood for that at the minute. That's fine. We can get chopping down some more trees. I need to turn this back off. I needed it turned on for my thumbnail. Let's just chop them for now. Um, a backgammon table as well would be decent. We're just going to throw that in this back corner. Yeah, that'll be fine there. What else have we got? Pyres, unmarked graves, fences and stuff like that. Pen marker. I mean, this entire island's going to be a pen, although I guess we'll build a pen somewhere properly at some point. Tick traps, default stockpile. Now. Food reserves. Again, Lan. I thought you did it through the zones. Have we not unlocked it yet? We've got our seeds. Let's build a research table then as well, I guess. Um, that can also just get crammed in here at the back. We've got the, uh, the two goats and the cat inside. You're not hungry. That's always good. Overview. Can't do anything yet. I'd like them to be able to haul at some point. Right, Raven's getting us some more wood. That's always good. We are... Good. Well, we've got the 12 meals that we want. Or would it prefer it if we made it so that there was five per person? Would that get rid of the notification? Possibly. How are you getting along over this way, Shifo? You good? Cool, right, there's literally only one way onto the island, and it's this now. But at the minute, they're just going to walk straight up there and come straight through here, which isn't really what we want. I could actually get Shifo to start digging out a good old slalom. Right, if we go like that, I'm wanting these paths to be too wide, rather than one wide for a change. Um, that could go to there. Dig that out like that. No. Don't dig that one. We don't normally go with natural defences like this. Mouse. That, that's, that's plenty of digging for him to be doing for a little while at least. I mean, do we need Shifo doing anything else? Um, he's going to be researching. Maybe we don't want him to dig too much out, but if I can at least get this in, then that gives us time to get some shooting at them. Obviously, we'll just start off with a nice simple wall and some um, some doors there to stop them from doing stuff. Cool, we've got both the shrines up. Admittedly, they're both outside, but they'll, they'll be fine for now. We're in spring, so it's not like it's going to be cold anytime soon. 
I'm also trying to remember how you get new people. I know you get join events. I can't remember if you can capture people. Keep the harvesting going. Keep getting all the mushrooms. You can turn mushrooms into meals, right? Oh, tutorial moods. Please represent your settler's happiness. Be sure to check your settler's moods often. Low mood can result in your settler rebelling and refusing to follow orders. Everybody's name's green at the minute, so we're all good. Yes, you can use mushrooms to make meals. That's fine for now, then. I'm pretty sure I normally end up putting them on just do anything you want. Yeah, they'll be fine. They're getting stuff done at a relatively quick pace, and if we can keep their moods nice and high, they get a work speed buff, right? Mood joyful. And well rested. Good. Good, I'm glad everything's going well for you. Back us all into stockpile. We still need more wood. And my mass still needs to get a grip. I mean, there are plenty of trees everywhere, but I don't want to be going out willy-nilly, if we can help it. Come on, get this researching bench built up. We just need another 30 wood. I think Beck is about finished crafting stuff in the base for now. Cool. You get that set up. Shifo's hopefully going to crack through this mining nice and quickly. Research. Yes, we need to research agriculture. Oh yeah, we've already got the books for that, haven't we? I know, I know, I know. That's what we're after. What seeds have we got then? We've got four herb seeds, birch, willow, and maple. I think we're just going to grow willow on this one. Uh, should we have the farm right outside here for now? Because I don't know where I want to build anything in particular. Let's just start off with a little 5x5 five five patch right there, just in the middle. And birch, willow. It's willow seeds we've got the most of, right? Yeah. And just along the back here. How about we go two by 11? So then I can have a pathway in the middle of here. I've not got any other seeds for anything good, have I? Well, we've got herbs. Just do a little 5x5 five five patch for herbs as well. It's fine. Required skill is 25. Um, who is our grower? Night Raven. She's on 7. Oh, okay. That might take a little while. But at least she can start planting stuff now. You know, once she's chopped these trees down that I wanted to do. Jeff, hope you're doing that in some sort of random order, my dude. But I guess this makes the most sense. Because if you chop this out first, then they've already got to walk at least round there. You like to how the water just keeps flowing between all of them. Oh, okay, he's just going to keep darting between them both. Uh, I'm pretty sure this we don't need to set any higher than, like, 20. It might need 25 for some of the researchers. 20, f that's 45. Okay, then what do I know? Let's just set that to 50. But again, we don't need him researching that right this second anyway. Now that we've got um, growing available to us, we should be good. Raven's jobs. Can I just swap you back to being like that, please? Shivo's turned 24. Happy birthday. And that way Raven's going to come and get these fields being done immediately. <laughs> Food reserves are low still. It'll be fine. Look how fast her botany's going up. I can't remember what she started on, but... Mouse. Can we build anything for, like, pets? Oh, we've got wooden beams, so we can make bigger buildings. Um, a wooden table. We kind of want one of those for people to eat at. These are three wide. I was hoping they were going to be two wide. 
It'll be fine for now. No clay, no limestone. But aren't we digging out... Oh, this is all dirt. That's fine. If we want clay, this is all clay over here. And I guess at some point we will neaten all this up. It did tell me there wasn't going to be much in the way of um, mineable resources, so we knew that was coming. Maybe it'd be better if I'm coming across to... Oh, that's like a full-on river there. So they're just going to be able to walk through this. This is just like foot height for now. That's fine. Oh, these boars over there. Boars aren't new, are they? I don't think they're new. Yoshifo Gam. Becker and Raven aren't exactly happy. Drenched, comfortable, and slept in uncomfortable bed. We'll get some new stuff unlocked. Don't you worry. So you get them trees being planted. We don't want to run out of wood, if we can help it. Did she fail that one? Or did she... No, she went to bed. Fair enough. You go to sleep. See, this is keeping the mood nice and high. I want to keep the mood nice and high. Fodder. Animal feed, 25. Hey, good. I mean, I don't know if this needs to be much higher than, like, 10, but... And also, are the animals going to keep eating our food? I do hope not. Oh, they never decompose. Rots in four days, 12 hours. Pile rots. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't like the temperature. Oh, okay. So how hot is it? Inside, it's 7.4 degrees. Though seven is just way too hot for it. Obviously, we're going to have to dig ourselves a cellar at some point and put food down there. Oh, thanks for that autosave. I think we'll get round to digging stuff out like that after we've got this bit set up. Uh, Becca's just hauling at the minute, so I think what we can get her doing then is starting with some wooden doors. Just there. And we can go into a nice basic just tower at the front here. In fact, do I even need to do a tower? I think what I'd like to do instead, you know what, now we're, we're going to do a gatehouse. So then if they break through, we've got time to try and defend it. Just something like that. Did you build on top of that wall? No, it didn't. Then we'll have some more doors right here. Um, we've got to research Merlots and stuff, haven't we? Oh. That is unfortunate. I can't even get a beam to go across the middle there, can I? Because the stairs are going to be in the way. Could go there and there, though. Just to shore that up a little bit. And then I can build that across the middle. Do I like them going that direction? Does it really make any difference? We could have them going along this way and along this way. Yeah, that'll be fine. <clears throat> I could even get my pyres in there as well. I've not exactly left much room like, but like one there and one there and then one there and one there. Yeah. And we've got a cremation room. Just get rid of all the dead bodies because obviously they're not going to want to keep seeing all the dead bodies, are they? That's just not pleasant. Go back again. Uh, materials. Let's drop this one down. Raw materials. I'm not doing well in the way of wood, am I? 
How many more saplings have you got? Have you still got four more willow saplings after planting all this? Cut phase at sapling. I don't want you to cut then. Oh. Jesus Christ. The trader has come to visit. Lovely. I want these to be cut when they're mature. These need to be cut when they're ripe. And... I mean, the first time round, I think we need to go with ripe here as well. Just try and get the one cabbage seed back. Eventually, I'm going to need a different plot. You know what? It might make more sense to have these as... Um, going to seed. Yeah. And then I forgot. We can actually plant red currants. Screw it, why not? I mean, Raven's a little busy at the minute doing um, all the other planting, but in fact, she's going to need to be busy shopping us some wood again soon. How are we getting along with this shift out? If you can just get these bits out, then we've got some form of a pathway. I think I might actually be able to build a little floor piece across there so we can get through here quickly at some point. Or do I even want to bother doing that? Maybe we could just do a staircase. No, that's that's also then going to lead to problems. Equipment. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about that. Merchant. I mean, do we want to even go and trade with you? Are we that bothered? I'm not sure at this stage. I'm really going to have anything... That's worth trading with you. And I don't think you're going to have anything to give me that's decent. Where's Becca going? Why would you build it from down here, you clad? That's fine. She can do it at least. Who's our best at... Speeching? Speeching! Yes, at speeching. Uh, 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 you are 16. You are 10. You are 13, but you've got a double passion in it. Beck is the best at speeching. Come and barter with my dude. Just so we can have a gander at what he's got. Can, can you come back, please? Yeah, yeah, I remember how this works. Uh, uh, uh. This is the mother merchant has to offer. Oh, you're selling beet seeds. At this point, then. That's me getting them, isn't it? Ironic, after I've just said I know what I'm doing. Number of resources that you have, have available to trade. I could sell my cat. I don't think we want to do that. I've got milk. What? I don't think we're going to do anything with you at the minute, I'm afraid, dude. Eventually, we're going to want to buy other seeds off you so I can grow other stuff, but... Hey, Shifo's not doing bad. He's nearly there. You were mining then, though. All oh, this clay there. I can feel a sneeze coming. There now. Now, these are going to warm up in here, so the food is going to decay quicker, but not enough allowed resources. We are out of wood. Craven doing? Harvesting resources. Oh, yeah, she's going around getting a load of mushrooms and whatnot. I'm going to let her do this because I've left them harvesting jobs there for ages. She can clear through them, and then that's going to give her the berries to plant some more. Uh, Hendrik, my dude, do you, do you mind? Do you fancy leaving? How are these doing?
You're eating at least, aren't you? Oh, that's how we've got freaking milk, isn't it? Goats kind of give you milk. Protected from predators. What, what did they just protect him from? Them from. It from. <laughs> there was nothing around. Did you protect him from the freaking boogie, man? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh. The handling skill's gone up. Are you able to do anything yet? We're training you. Are goats able to do hauling and stuff? Driving in even poor land. How's about we have a look at... Wait, were bears in it before? I don't think bears were in it before. Used to carry in heavy loads. I think I want some donkeys. Wait a second. Why are you growing... Never mind. I thought she was planting uh, cabbages here. We don't want cabbages being planted there. She's planting the berries over this way so we can grow our own. I mean, there's plenty around. So we don't really have to do that, but... Alright, Shifo, how have you got on? You're done. Love it. Pull that dirt around there. <laughs> the band of she-wolf merchant is leaving your settlement. Bye then. I thought Becca was leaving with them then. Where is she going? <laughs> oh, she's going to get all the dirt and stuff. Ooh. How's about we have a dumping stockpile over this way? And then this can be for carcasses and stuff like that. Waste, which is bones, raw meat, raw from vegetables and stuff like that. Materials. Clay, dirt, limestone. I put priority very high. Stuff out there that's just complete trash that we don't want at all. I'm pretty sure they can't walk across that gap, but... For us to get across it, it just involved me building floors straight across there, which is pretty easy. You might as well allow all these as well. If it's on my island, allow it. A single go from this corner across there allow anything that's on the island still plenty of tree chopping to be done but raven is still um... oh wait I marked all these to be cut didn't I I meant to mark them to be harvested not cut whoopsie it'll be fine where the hell did you just jump me to again? And you could take the berries straight across that way. Um, honestly, I think Raven's cooking needs to come up a minute. Go like that instead. And then if she's got anything she can cook, she can go and cook it. My meal's are getting pretty darn low. You know what I am going to do as well? Um, cut plants. If you've got nothing else to do, cut plants. Because then they can go cut some trees then. Although Shifo will never actually get around to doing that. Because he'll go and um, research sooner. Which is fine, I guess. Have you guys about cleared this mess up? Looks like it. Lovely job. What's Becca doing now? Praying? Then what? What do you do after that? Because there's no building for you left to do. 
you're just hauling everything. Okay, hauling needs being done. What were you getting from that? Hey, you're right. Barley. Oh! I mean, I could plant some barley as well, I guess. Wait, that's actual barley, right? We don't get seeds from that, do we? Herbs, and then we've just got the, the tree saplings, so now. I don't even know what you're hauling anymore. Where the... For God's sake. I mean, this is why I want to be careful what you allow and what you don't allow. I think Raven's about finished with the harvest, and she's going to get on to chopping some wood now. Which is good, because then we can get this built up some more. I think, if anything, once um, Shifo's finished doing the hauling with Becca... We need to really get him on the um, on the research. I like to. Uh, this seems to be wearing out where people are walking. I don't think I like this schedule idea, but it is keeping them in good moods. So. Did somebody just give me a double thumbs up, or are they, are they, were there two people stood close enough together? I think there might have just been people stood close enough together. Becca, where are you going now? Oh my days. Forbid them. I don't want you walking all that way around. Getting resources. Oh, Raven's on to cutting duty. Lovely job. And then as soon as she gets a sapling, she goes and slaps it down. Love it. Mm, maybe I should have split the forestry section in the middle there. So I could have had growing all down the middle of the island, apart from... Actually. I'm still able to grow on these bits, aren't I? Yeah, it's all soil out here. Let me just do that, then. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that at all. Willem, there, and you're going to go until mature, go like that, Night Raven now considers Becca a friend, the reason was a wonderful conversation, oh you guys, they're all being friends, we have only got five meals then, Chifo's still hauling. What are you still hauling at this point? Are you hauling the wood away from where Becca's building? God damn it, man. Admittedly, that is where she failed building, but... I'm thinking that maybe we're going to want some pathways coming around here. I don't think we're going to build one big keep again like we did the first time I played Go Medieval. I think we're going to go for a bit more of a village again. I like the village vibe, especially if we're on an island. We might as well use all of this space that we've got. Gardens right in the middle seems like a good chat as well. Yeah, this is all soil. No clay. I'm sure it's, it's going to limit my ability to be able to grow things, but... I seem to have got a lush island right in the middle of a swamp. Some herbs over that way. Collect all the herbs you can. Yeah, we want all of them. <sighs> it's pretty sure in here it tells you how far away they are from being grown. Maximum yield in one day, one hour. Okay. How are you getting on with that? You've nearly done. Um, I th think we've run out. Nope, we're still chopping trees. Oh, look at all the herb seed piles. These are cabbages. I don't. I don't want. 
Wait, yep, yeah, no, we swapped these. Ignore me. Let's just say Beck and I consider Night Raven a good friend. Good. They're both friends with each other rather than one being friends with the other and then, yeah. Do I want to put spike traps along here? I don't like them. I don't tend to think they work very well. Admittedly, I only tend to build the wooden ones. If we could get somebody that was good with, I think it's crafting early on, and get them uh, making decent traps, maybe that'd be a good shot, but... I could do a fallback defense here. No, because if they get up the stairs, then we're kind of trapped. Unless I just built... Mm, no. That'll be fine. And everybody's sleeping again. Mm, mm, mm. Well, we got done what I wanted to get done today. We've got some defences up and running, and we've got some farming up and running. Um, We kind of need clothes being made, but I think we're, we're rushing it a little bit if I'm going for clothes already. Get a few more trees being chopped. Yeah, all of them over that way should be good. Eventually, we'll not need much in the way of wood anymore, but until that point, then um, we're going to keep chopping everything that's on this island. Becca, where, oh, you're running all the way over there to get the wood. It normally makes sense to put little stockpiles where you're building and then just have those as high priority so we can bring the wood across that way. For now, that's all the... Uh, all the trees we're going to need planted, planted. Yeah, that'll do. These are both set to mature. And I copied you. Mature. That gets us the most wood and the most sticks. Did you ever get those things built up in here? No, because we needed more wood. I just want to get a bit of light in there. Beck and I consider Shiffo a friend. The reason was small talk. I like that. That didn't used to be a thing, right? Oh! Steingard claimed that he was running from a pack of enraged philosophers. They beat him for uh, reductive reasoning and, yep, can't read that. Skepticism. Epistemological? Um... I don't know what they were talking about, but they wouldn't let up. Would you offer him a place to stay? There will be repercussions. Ooh, he's good with plants. One archer, one marauder. I'd like to think that we could defend that. I will let you in. Let's have a proper look at your skills. Where are your freaking skills? Um, uh, Marksman is one. Freaking melee is 13. Well, you're going to get that melee weapon then, aren't you? And your animal hand handling is quite high skill. Your botany is nothing, but you can help Raven out. She could probably do cooking more full time now while you're doing that. Anyway, we're going to name you and we're going to get this attack dealt with in the next episode. Because that's where we're leaving it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more old comments and feedback. Greatly appreciated. As always, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.